Hey everyone, I'm Travis Spivey joined with my son Jordan Spivey and if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of our science tutorial videos. In today's video, we will cover the top similarities and differences between viruses and organisms, so let's do this. Our learning target for today is, I can explain the similarities and differences in characteristics of viruses and organisms. Let's start off with the similarities first. Number one, viruses and living organisms both contain genetic instructions. Viruses can contain either DNA or RNA, but never both. Number two, viruses have the ability to reproduce. Although they can't reproduce on their own, they still can reproduce once they attach to and insert their genetic material into a host cell. Number three, both viruses and cells have the ability to evolve or change over time. Viruses evolve much faster than other organisms because their population multiplies at a much more rapid rate. This means that with each new individual, there's an opportunity for new mutations to occur, making it more difficult to wipe out or eradicate their population. And that wraps up their similarities. Now let's get into the top differences between viruses and living organisms. Number one, as we stated earlier, viruses do have the ability to reproduce, but they cannot reproduce independently on their own. Viruses require a host cell in order to reproduce. They achieve this by tricking the host cell into believing that the virus genetic material is its own and then injects its genetic material inside the cell. In some cases, the virus immediately hijacks the cell material inside the cell, which is what happens during a lighted cycle infection like the common cold. But other viruses like lysogenic cycle infections have a more insidious approach. Herpes and HIV virus are types of lysogenic cycle infections. They trick the cell into believing it's one of its own and then the cell actually makes copies of the virus genetic information during cellular transcription and translation while the virus remains dormant as time goes by. When the individual becomes stressed, the virus wakes up, uses the cell's materials to make copies of itself and bursts out of the host cell. It is now a lighted cycle infection and goes to infect other cells. Number two, viruses cannot obtain and use energy. Unlike plant and animal cells, Viruses don't go through photosynthesis or cellular respiration to acquire and use energy. Number three, viruses cannot grow and develop. They keep their same size and don't change their function over time. So unlike us, when we go from a baby to being a full grown adult, viruses actually have the same size throughout their entirety. Number four, viruses cannot respond to the environment. Other organisms' bodies work to maintain internal and external homeostasis to respond to the environment. Just like an animal running if they sense danger or a person shivering to stay warm on a cold day. Viruses cannot make these adjustments and are basically alone for the ride. Number five, the structure of viruses are very different from organisms. Take a look at the structural components of a virus versus a cell. If you notice, the structural components are very different and the shape and size of the cells are different as well. Number six, this goes without saying, but viruses are not made of cells. Number seven, to sum it all up, viruses are not living. There are several things that we mentioned above that living organisms can do that viruses cannot do, including the inability to reproduce on their own, obtain and use energy, grow and develop. You get the picture. Also, remember the cell theory. First, all living things are made up of cells. Second, cells are the smallest units of life. And third, all cells come from pre-existing cells. Viruses have none of these in common with cells because of the obvious. They are not made of cells. And that's our video for today. Now let's test your knowledge to see how proficient you are with explaining the similarities and differences between viruses and organisms. Use your electronic device to scan the QR code at the bottom right of the screen, or you can click the link in the description box below. Remember, 80% or higher for proficiency, record your results on your proficiency sheet, and if you don't get it the first time, you better keep going because it's not over until you win. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Peace and have a positive day.